Is it me? Or is it all of us on the last days of our adventure that make us feel so incomplete? All I could think of on this road was how much I wanted to stay on the adventure. Unfortunately, we all go back to work. Unfortunately, we all return back to our lives and daydream about these things that we're seeing now. Well, until next time, Utah. Okay, we made it. We are down uh, south of Chama, north of Santa Fe, uh, mid-central New Mexico. You can see it's still raining behind me. Look at that, it's still doing it. Um, we're not sure how long it's gonna keep doing it. It says that it's almost done. But anyway, I'll show you kind of where we're going. We're gonna be go uh, coming off this highway. We're gonna go right, which is west uh, on 151. And I'll show you where we're going. And we're hoping that it kind of goes back up in this canyon and uh, doesn't have many people. The problem with that is, is that it's uh, a holiday weekend and so who knows, there could be lots of people out, there could be lots of people out. Anyway, I'm excited to go explore this. I've never, I've driven past this twice. And uh, I always said I would go and I haven't yet. So here it is. I did wanna, sh I did wanna show you guys this. Like, this canyon is beautiful. And I will show you this, just right up in those, see those light colored faces in front of you? Um, that one with the tall, uh, we'll call it a tall head right there at the end on the left, that's the, um, I was hoping that the road would have cleaned a little bit more off, but it didn't clean anything off. That's okay, because it looks like it's a dirt road. We're about to add a whole lot more. God, I'm excited, guys. All right, what we found, guys, is this. It's called uh, uh, the Santa Fe National Forest dispersed camping area called Whirlpool. And this place is amazing. I wish it wasn't raining because obviously every time they they land on the windshield, it wants to refocus on the actual uh, raindrops versus what I'm trying to show you. And I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, you'll just have to deal with some windshield wipers. Uh, but this is a neat little area. If you're ever coming through here, this would be a super cool place to jump down into because there's a huge river running by these campsites, so let me show you what I'm talking about. There's some vault toilets, look at that. Vault toilets, nothing could be better. Get yourself a vault toilet, oh my gosh, come on. I hate when it does that, guys. Yeah, these are just standard little uh, dispersed camping areas. Uh, wow, this is super neat. Now you can see the base is dirt, mud, whatever you want to call it. So, um, you know, if you come back here, make sure you have something that's 
capable of getting in and out of here if it's obviously, um, you know, potentially it's going to rain or um, has rained. And the one thing that Richard did point out was, um, I don't think I can go any further down there. No, that's the actual water and a campsite. So, uh, is that some of the road coming back here, uh, they're washouts. And so it even says it. So if you come back here, you have to remind yourself to check your weather, check your weather, check your weather. Because again, you don't want to get down here and have the road wash out and then you're stuck until the county or emergency services comes out here and fixes it for you. Because I mean, it's not real bad yet. They haven't got much rain, but they have had rain in the last couple days. So keep that in mind. One side, just another pull-in campsite. Yeah, that's just another pull-in campsite. So just keep that in mind, okay? Because it is greasy for sure, super greasy. But it's a super neat campsite too. And I was trying to get down where I could see you without disturbing people, but if I pull down most of the places where the water is, it's right next to somebody's campsite. So I kind of didn't want to do that. But. It's been raining for the last two hours coming down here. I think it's smarter to be on high ground. Because um, if that thing decided to um, uh, crest, you'd be in trouble down here. Because this flat, it's it doesn't look like it, but it's circled. So it's kind of like a little island. And uh, it's circled. And so that would be a bad situation for you for sure. So. So. Glad I got to show it to you. And remember, it's called Whirlpool, and it's off Forest Service Road 151. But I'm going to go ahead and hightail it out of here and go meet up uh, with Sarge where we picked. It's going to be on a flat. Um, it's only going to be the only drawback. But at the same time, I bet you 20 bucks here pretty quick if it keeps raining like this, it's going to get super greasy. And matter of fact, when we were coming in, there was already a lot of people... Uh, uh, clearing out so that could there could be a point to it they could be locals and they could know that hey you know great place to camp but if it's wet or sloppy you need to get out of there because then when I say it I mean every all the cars that were down here had already turned around packed up and were highly high telling it um, back to the main road because the main roads gravel and all this stuff is this red clay and I promise you this Years of racing told me that this stuff gets slick as snot. So, let's get out of this hole real quick.
right, guys. This is my spot. This is the one I love. Um, yeah. Now we're up here, and now you see why. It's just beautiful. And as Big Boy kind of gets the truck in, let me show y'all something. Here it is. It's just wonderful, right? So that's a natural forest road, a nat natural, national forest road that continues into forest, which you can't camp out. But this has got this. Look at this. What? So right now the rain's just to the west of us. I'm hoping it's 80 degrees, but it is so cool in that wind. Oh, it feels good. Sarge, what do you think? Will it work? You like it? There we go. It's a it's a do. So we're gonna try to avoid that and that over there, and uh, have our last relaxing night on the trail. You know those bittersweet moments during this setup. This is exactly what I could think of. It's all I could think of, really. Unfortunately, I was trying to enjoy the time, but I couldn't because I knew it was ending. That's a bad day on the trail when you know you're finishing the trip. All right, guys, you saw it was. I know for you guys it was like 30 seconds, but even for me it was like 30 seconds. Uh, but we're set up. Now, obviously, there's more stuff that I do when I get in there, but not really now. So, tonight... Our beverage is Bourbonola, prohibition style bourbon and cherry cola. So let's check it out. Sarge, you ready to test yours? Let's see. Wow. Hey, that's got punch. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was nice, guys. Um, it was good. Yeah, it had it definitely has some thump to it. And I'm just gonna swing you guys around like this, and look what we have going here, right? So this is the current situation. Um, now the storm that was on that horizon has now moved to the horizon on the opposite side of us. And so currently we're allowing our fire to go down. Uh, the wind is, is, is gusty for sure. And um, even though this is natural forest land, below us is a whole neighborhood. So we don't want to cause anything we shouldn't. Other than that, we are relaxing, and uh, look at this. When was the last time you had those? Hot fries, uh, and then, okay. So, that's it, relaxing, chilling. Gotta take care of this thing because the gusty wind is bothering me. So, we're gonna kinda be easy on the fire until at least later, and then, and then uh, from there, we're just gonna relax, eat, and enjoy this night. This is, look, look, look at that sunset. This
so there it is guys we say goodbye to New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho and another amazing trip with some great friends if this teaches us anything it'll teach us to get out and get out more often Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.